up? It's your boy Casper Green. I got some. Sh- I got a video here. I don't know what these nut ass niggas gonna say about about the squad, but w- NFC East. So you know they're gonna say something negative, uh, uh, something positive, and retract statements because you know we shoving that ball down their throat. So let's get right into it. I don't know what they're gonna say. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that PayPal so I keep bring you content. You know what I'm saying? Let's get it. All right, here we go with the with the with the, with the what's them call it. All right, winning in. That's going to be said a bunch these upcoming weeks in the NFL. Washington football team had a win and in for now in Philadelphia, but you know the the story. They're playing on Tuesday because COVID hit their team hard. It meant Garrett Gilbert was starting. Meanwhile, this play to the uh, naked eye. That one was crazy. That one was crazy. If you don't know, the ball popped up off Suns the, on the back off the back of his foot. Yeah, he fucked up off the catch. He didn't catch the catch the ball. That's Dallas Goddard. We just traded t- tight end. Uh, 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 that nigga right there, <laughs> Zach Ertz to the to the Ravens. So now you know we got. I mean, this guy's great and all that, but you know, it's it'd be funny how they be they be willing to subject they self, subject they self to his will. You know, to a to a. Mm, and a, a tight end, a tight end. Feel me, but uh, uh, you know, a tight end. But to a running back, they ain't playing that. I'm just saying. So yeah, the ball popped up off his heel. Interception for the other team. They jerked the other team. Feel me, because it should have been interception. He gets to, you know, uh, advance the ball. He didn't get the opportunity to advance the ball. I thought that was corny. What was it? Well, it should have been a Washington football team it touchdown. Right now, I'm like, Hurts, Dallas, Dallas Goddard. Look at this, look at this, look at this. That's. Kicked up in the air off of his right there, heel. Picked by Landon Collins. Should have been a touchdown. It is a Washington possession. And Antonio Gibson takes it in. So no harm, no foul. Right, Washington little, gets the right, touchdown. Right. I know my guy Jeff likes the icy whites. Uh-huh. Washington up 7 to nothing. It's still 7 to nothing. Mm-hmm. Jalen Hurts rolling, Yo, that was looking. A catch. Devontae Smith. Monster catch. Big time. What a grab. I mean, Ooh, it was they complete okay Philadelphia pass, challenges. Situation, but that was a monster catch. The ability I mean, it was of these a, receivers a pass, to get That's their toes in, remarkable. Like, Later yo. in the drive, Eagles now into the red zone. Hurts, and he brought that on himself. By Montez you Sweat. see, because he moved up a little bit, but he didn't dedicate the, himself. He should have COVID list and being injured as well. Collins picks it up. He gets 23 yards before Jalen Rager sacks him and Balls out. Eagles with a couple of turnovers in the first quarter. It's a 10 nothing game. Hurts has all kinds of time. And Dallas Goddard. It's become quite a weapon. Hurts' Yo, favorite, see that in shit, fact, right? in this passing game. You see that? Sun caught the ball. The other ball caught the ball. Watch the other ball catch the quite ball. Quite a weapon. Wow. Bam. Ball in whose hands? In Sun's hands. Dallas Goddard just grips the ball and pretty much pries the ball from the ball's hands. Because, look, ball got no leverage. He's on top. He got all the leverage with, with his elbow. Ball's already, you know, like caught. But dude's hands wasn't stronger than Goddard's arms. Hurts favorite, look at in that. fact, in this uh, passing game. All the leverage. Goddard. That wasn't all. Makes a big grab. They got down there real close, but had to settle for a short, short field goal. Under four minutes to go in the half. Those two again. Hurts and Goddard. Incredible placement. Later in the drive, it's second and goal. Hurts. Run that thing right in the middle of a big old pile of humans. He's in. It's 10 10. Early third. And Miles Sanders. Big hole. Big time. Washington got a bunch of help Big back time. off the coast. Kelsey all the way down but there. But the Eagles were running wild. Lee Sanders had a buck 31. That Incredible. was the longest run of the season. Come on, man. Stop Guess who? Hurts. First quarterback in Eagles history with 10 rushing game. touchdowns in a single season, breaking Michael Vick's record. Philly 17 Strong, straight. Baby. It's 20 that. to 10. And on third and one, Gilbert, beautiful play fake. Mm. John Bates. Mm. Can he get there? Have no, but he's down before the ball comes out. Then Jarrett 
Patterson. Yo, you got to give your hats you off. You be in the building. I, I'm going to stop off. I'm going to stop for a second. I'm going to get, I got to take my hats off, hat off to Mr. G. Gilbert, Garrett Gilbert, whatever his name was. I know he was just playing with the Patriots, but that's a whole nother system. And he got the phone call on what? Friday? He got the phone call on Friday. Like, yo. Yo, we just bought you, B. <laughs> no, you don't got to come pissing no cup. We just bought you. Get the f- down here because you're starting on Sunday. On, on At that time, they probably still thought it was Sunday. But like, you're starting on Tuesday night. He must have been hurt. Yo, imagine when he heard that, right? It was like, yo, we just bought you. You're starting we just bought you. You're starting on Tuesday night. What the fuck kind of commercial is that? Like, that's an insane commercial. Like, that's the Twilight Zone right there, them three things. And he did his, he did his thing. He, I think he did his thing. My hat's off to you, sir. Buffalo running back makes it 20 to 17. Gilbert giving him a chance anyway. Eagles. <laughs> Third and six. Jalen Rager. Rager Good for touch. you. Good People for you, like Link you said, the guy. Rager with the touch. Gotta have his back. We don't got his back, Nick. He's driving the ball. Fuck out of here. To the Washington 19. Then it's Hurts. So the coach stopped putting him deep. <laughs> Come around That's my way. You does. will get clocked. So the coach stopped Philadelphia. putting him deep. Let Nick Sirianni on Jalen Hurts responded after the tough start. Because him in. Him in. Devontae like, Smith, like I said, he's. I think besties. that's how you know. I know that his dad was tough on him, and uh, and I know Coach Saban probably didn't uh, shy away from yelling at him at all. And so I just think Jalen's able to take tough coaching, and uh, and a lot of us know, again, like I said, of us. obviously he responded great right. because he played a phenomenal game uh, from there that's on insane. out. Well, I've been that's telling insane. him all year, you know, I don't I'm a coach's kid, <clears throat> and, and basically all the coaches' kids out there, um, they they know what that means. I mean, they've been coached. Um, they, they've heard everything. Um, so, you know, the, the, I, in high school, I lived with the guy that was chewing me out. So, I made it clear to coach all year. I'm like, cut. you know, you, know I mean? you, can, you can get on me that's, a little bit. I mean, you um, get them so cuts after, around here. You get them cuts after, around um, here. You got the after, after the fumble, uh, he came up to me, said what he had to say. And then to later on in the game, he comes back and jokes with me and says, I guess I'm going to just start coaching you like your dad coached you. Um, Like I can't afford food. streaming anymore, so. Sure you can. State Farm has... So Eagles mean, don't have this type What's of game mean, often. Though? In fact, thanks to Miles Sanders and Dallas Goddard, this is just the fourth time in Philadelphia Eagles history that they had a 130-yard rusher and a 130-yard receiver. Other duos were Sean McCoy and Deshaun Jackson back in 2010. You have to go back to the mid-60s to find other examples of it. As for Ron Rivera and Washington, down Heineke, down Allen, the quarterback that was on the Patriots practice squad had to be brought in here. Ron Rivera asked just how much Washington missed the start. That was a while ago. Like, I know the the Sean McCoy and and the Sean Jackson, but, like, that was already a while ago. That was 2010. That's wow. Wow, time flies. Because you weren't available. Get your money up. Spending time with well, your family. Well, it did show a little memories. bit, but you know, those guys battled. You know, yeah. and, and again, I'm, I'm not yeah. taking anything away from, from guys That's that cool. you know, got opportunities to play. They, they, they fought hard. No, they did yeah, the things yeah. that they needed to do to, to give themselves the opportunity to win. I fear Rob Minkovich drew the short straw. There are two Tuesday night games. Van Pelt needs somebody. Thanks so much for uh, being with us to help break down. Uh, these games, which are division rivals and significant in the playoff picture. Yeah. Philadelphia spots Washington Say 10, something. but then they come Say back to win stupid. by 10. Washington got a bunch of help mm. back from the COVID list up front. Didn't matter. Philly runs all over them. And in this league, Rob, you we talk know. about having an identity. How much knew. of the identity of this team do you believe is tied to its young quarterback, Jalen Hurts? Oh, I think the, the team is tied to Jalen Hurts. That is their identity. And moving forward, I could see them trying to build the team around Jalen Hurts. I liked him last year, you? and I think this year you? again, we Why knew that you? this team, the Eagles, they were going to try and 
get draft picks. They traded away their best tight end. We knew that this team was kind of on the rebuild, and their biggest question this season was, is Jalen Hurts the guy? And I think that we've seen enough to say, okay, he is the guy. He's going to be there. Now let's build a roster around a young quarterback who is mobile, and their identity is, listen, we're going to run the football. We're going to have a guy back really here see, running, throwing good. first really downs, see. running for first downs, and that's basically the reflection of what the NFL is. I give uh, a bunch of teams around the league like credit, the and Philadelphia is certainly on the list. I think New Orleans could certainly be on there, as could be the Miami it's Dolphins. Us, and I'm talking, talking about teams about. that were in a middling spot that have fought back to get to 500. If we look at the what NFC mean, playoff picture, Rob, like, how, and we say there's what essentially – Three teams for one spot, and I'm talking about Minnesota, New Orleans, and Philadelphia. And that would give about. San Francisco benefit of the doubt based sort of on schedule, about. I guess. Who do you like out of that trio to ultimately get to the uh, table and have a chance to be in the playoffs? Philly. I like the Saints, and, and I'm going with the tripping. Saints because they They're have about a to get spanked this week. And then they have a great about, defensive Rob coordinator, coordinator and, about to and get spanked Dennis this Allen, who has stepped in for Sean Payton this week. And they look terrific against Tampa. So whenever you can hold Tampa Bay to no points and Tom Brady, the best quarterback yeah, in the NFL, who's having good. one of the best seasons to no, Why to no stop points, run game? that's saying something. So I think their defense can really go on a like run here ago, and, and really take this team on their shoulders and they can make a playoff run. Yeah, look, I mean, they, they, they single-handedly changed the odds in the, in the MVP race, didn't they? Holding Brady and that offense to the, the, uh, to the shutout, the which just doesn't happen right much. Now. All right, so... That's the team on the back end of the playoffs. The Rams are in the mix to be at the very top. We'll talk about them and their victory against uh, Seattle a little bit later, all right? All right, can't wait. In 2027. Somebody, yeah, I was slooser out of this rabbit. Talk about, talk about the Saints. Want to play the Dolphins next? They play on Monday Night Football. And the Dolphins got, what they got, what they coming off, like a six-game winning streak? They on fire. Fuck out of here. Tripping. Then they play the Panthers and the Falcons. They might could win both of those. But I don't think they beat in the Falcons. And I don't know that they make it past Cam Newton. To be honest with you, they could lose all three of these, the Saints. You talking about the Saints. You talking about the Saints for What are you talking about? Man, we played the Redskins, the Giants, and then the Cowboys. We need two of those. What is you talking about? Rob Ninkovich. Fuck out of here with these fake. Man, these dudes be corny. These fake, these analysis, analysts be jocking these other teams, and they want. I'm not trying to hear this. Oh, bro. Let's see what this is. Essentially, right, right now, I don't think the focus is there. I need this team to focus a lot more so they can be on one accord. And, Marcus, you play defense. I play offense. Offensively, you, can, you can't have one guy on a different page than all other ten because the play can derail. Defensive, defensively, you can have that. You can have one or two guys mess up oh, and still overcome out. that. Offensively, you cannot. Mm -hmm. So I think for this football team right now, I do think Dak, he needs to grab those guys. If they need to get 20, 25 minutes more extra routes after practice so they're on the same page, they got to do that. If he has to grab them and say, hey, we need to meet extra time on our own without coaches, I, them I think lose, they yo. need to do that because well, the brand the of football that they're playing right now offensively is not the way you want to be playing. Heading into the playoffs, down the later stretch, the later stretch of the season, Just because you, if they continue to play like this offensively, I don't the sad part about it, they're gonna be one and done, and then we're gonna be talking about why oh. it went wrong. Well, we already know why it went wrong. Yeah, because mm. I don't think no, we no, Harry, look, look, I know we, I'm we be supposed to debate you. I don't think and disagree, we but I agree a hundred percent with chop. you on that. I think I think the problem lies within two people. I think one Kellen Moore has lost creativity. And I don't know if it's because I still don't think Dak is fully healthy because he's playing what timid. And that's not an excuse. It's just a reason. He may not yeah. be injured. He may not have uh, anything lingering. The, and he may the, just be playing bad. But to see him go from the level defense. he was playing at, the first yeah, seven weeks of the season, then he gets right. the injury against Denver and it looks completely different. I can't attribute right. it to anything other than the fact that he's not feeling 100% or mentally he's trying to get through whether it's mm. a calf strain or whether mm. the shoulder is What's flared up. up. One of those situations. No excuse, though. Damn it. Aaron Rodgers playing with a broken toe. You're gonna they make better it figure it the hell out because okay. to your point.
Are you going to make it to week 18 back? If you are saying that we're going to go into the playoffs and we're going to count on our defense to turn the ball over two, three times a game to make up for the things that we're not doing offensively, you will be home after week one. And we will be talking about what an opportunity lost. So it's squarely on Kelly Moore to get back to doing some of the creative things. I don't care who you put on our table. We're not one and done. And bottom line, Dak Prescott has to play better. And he has to play more decisive. Molly it looks weight. timid. It Ever looks like he's thinking Jaylen. every time he drops back in the pocket. Yeah. And that is in Jennifer no way like going to benefit them when he has to p- potentially face Aaron Rodgers or Matt Stafford or Kyler Smith, Murray Smith. or Tom hey, Brady whatever. in this playoff run. Because they you won't be timid fizzle. and second-guessing the things that they're doing offensively. Let, Let me ask you this, worried. Harry. If needed, can this defense carry Dak? She don't cut them that's, off that's like the thing. You Stephen can't bank on and, and, this defense and, and, getting turnovers like they're getting Max. right now in the playoffs. Because when you're playing off, guys yeah. like Aaron Rodgers, Tom Brady, you just can't bank that they're going to give you the ball you at the most, uh, I think, crucial just time saying, of the football season. So you can't just bank on and say, hey, we're going to get these turnovers. Because if you're not getting those turnovers and they're completing passes and going up and down the field, but your offense is sputtering and spiraling down like it Mm -hmm. is right now and not on one accord, then you're going to find a first-round exit. And not only are you going to find a first-round exit, you're going to get blown out in round. First-round exit. Yeah, you and then to up. your point, Harry, like, you if, up. Like, if, if you watch film like Harry I does heard. and I do and Try a lot of our, our counterparts, man, listen, even with man. the turnovers, Dallas ain't doing All right, we're going uh, we to rock out. We're going to rock out with that one let it go. We're going to find some more, though. We're going to find some more. We're going to come back. I don't like making these bitches too long, though. All right, we back.